Arrows vs Armour is back and it needs your help. Hi folks, Matt Eason here, Scholar Gladiator. Now, the internet is full of debate about arrows, medieval longbow arrows in particular, versus armour. Arrows versus armour is one of the most popular topics that pervades all discussion about medieval warfare. On my channel, on all the other channels out there that you'll find that talk about medieval weaponry. And throughout my life, I have been both an archer and also an armour fanatic and aficionado. So I've been fully consumed by this topic as well, like many of those out, many of those people out there who engage in living history and reenactment, HEMA, or even just, you know, wargaming and studying the period. It is a really, really interesting topic. And the Battle of Agincourt is one of those battles, although there are many others, of course, which were so... Uh, which this question is so pivotal in understanding exactly how the battle panned out is the interaction between these weapons in particular and the type of armour that was being worn. Now, as it happens, this is an arrow made by Will Sherman. This is a helmet made by Ash. And those two craftsmen are going to be important in future investigations of this topic, thanks to Todd. Now, that's Todd, of course, of Todd Cutler and Todd Workshop. And uh, Todd, mate of mine, and a lot of the other people involved in this are also mates of mine as well, like Will Sherman, for example, and indeed Ash. Um, and of all of the tests that I've seen over many, many years, many of which I've been critical of, I have to admit, um, there have always been issues when we're talking about testing a weapon system against a protective system. We have to look at the um, weapons themselves, the exact type of arrows, the arrowheads, the way they're being launched, the weapon that is launching them, the situations, the context in which they're being shot at, the angles, the, all of this kind of stuff. And of course, the armour, the fabric that it's made of, the exact shapes of it, the different thicknesses at different portions of the armour, the potential gaps, the differences between plate and mail and padding and how they're interacting and all of these things. And the fact is that an awful lot of archery versus armour tests that have been done are sorely lacking. And in all of that time, pretty much the best tests, which I'm sure that anyone watching my channel has watched at least once and perhaps even numerous times, are the tests that have been done by Todd and the team that he put together originally. And it's back. So when he did those tests, obviously there were some limitations. Um, the Pretty much the breastplate was the only thing tested and it was pretty much only frontal. Lots of things that it left us hungry, asking for more. We wanted to see uh, different types of um, shots coming in at different angles, different types of armour made of different materials. Obviously, modern material is different to historical material. So we wanted to see, you know, wrought iron, um, slaggy content, um, steel, different types of steel, hardened versus unhardened, um, different carbon contents, different shapes, different portions of armour, different thicknesses. And so we were left hungry, wanting more. So despite the fact that these were the best tests that I have, by long margin, ever seen done, and this includes tests being done by some um, academic and um, you know, professional establishments, Todd's tests were pretty much the best so far. But there's more that they can do, and Todd's trying to make that happen. So below you'll see a link to the Kickstarter. Now, why is a Kickstarter needed? Quite simply, this is really expensive, okay? For a um, you know, for a YouTube channel or, or even a, just um, a fabricator of arms and armor like Todd is to finance this, you've got to pay for the equipment for filming, you've got to pay for the things being shot and the things being shot at. These are expensive things. It is expensive to destroy items which take a lot of time to be made professionally by professional craftsmen to the standards that are required for this type of testing. And then, of course, you need to document and um, record this in the most effective ways as well. So it's an expensive project. But, oh boy, is it worthwhile for anyone interested in medieval history and medieval warfare and arms and armour. You want to see this done. So... Check out the link below to the Kickstarter for this, and also there's a link below to a video which um, Todd has done with Toby Capwell at the Wallace Collection, talking about the most famous bassinet, and in well, one of the most famous bassinets in the world, and certainly the most famous bassinet and one of the most famous helmets, 
at the Wallace Collection. Check out that video, check out the link to the Kickstarter, and if you can, think about supporting this project. And, you know, I'm doing my part by trying to spread the word here as well, uh, and I'm very, very happy to do so, despite the fact, um, you know, it's for uh, someone else's project and a different channel on all of this kind of thing. You know, these are mates of mine involved in this, and I desperately want to see this done. I want to see the tests. I want to know the results, as I'm sure you do as well. So check out that, those links below. And um, also, let's use this as a discussion uh, forum, perhaps for this topic as well. What things, you can post below, what things would you like to see tested between maybe not just arrows and armour, but various other weapons and armour? I myself am looking at some weapons versus armour testing in the relatively near future. I've got some, as you know, I've got some Roman era stuff to test out, which will be coming soon. Um, also with my mate uh, Raffaello at Metatron. And additionally, there are other weapon systems from the medieval period that maybe I'll be looking at testing against armour with Todd, uh, separately to the arrows versus armour stuff as well. So. Your thoughts about arrows versus armour and obviously check out those links and also feel free to start a discussion below about what you'd like to see of uh, various weapons or ways of using weapons against armour or other situational tests that we can do for the medieval or any other period in fact. So I look forward to seeing your comments below and of course I massively look forward to seeing Todd's project unfold. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you again soon on my channel and uh, check out Todd's video below as well. Cheers, folks.